Here are a couple Christmas ornaments that I turned recently. Uh, this first one is made out of uh, poplar and cherry. And this one is made out of some wood, which I have no idea what it was. It was something that just came out of my yard. And uh, anyway, um, I'd like to have a way to photograph them. And I've seen a lot of people, you know, on online places, they'll like put a hanger in them, of course, and they'll have something to hang them up with. And that's nice, but you have your either your hand or your uh, like a coat hanger or something in the picture. So I wanted something that I could use to hang them with and I wouldn't see them in the picture but it would kind of hold it steady so I got a bunch of this kindling wood from Kroger last winter came in a great big pack for five bucks it's not very well cut it's made for just to start fires with it's all pine um, cheap wood but I thought well I can take some of this cheap wood make me an upright and then a cross piece like this and on the end hang on hang the ornaments on them and if I have like a larger ornament I can actually attach like a dowel rod and I can actually make a movable uh, boom arm so that's what I'm going to try to do with what I have here and I'll show you how I do it I have a bit a little bit larger than a quarter inch chucked into my drill press and I'm ready to start drilling the hole I just wanted to show you something that's kind of valuable when you're drilling with a non-centering uh, uh, or vise is this little machinist center square you always want to make sure that your piece is lined up square on two axes or as relatively square as it can be depending on what kind of wood you're using because sometimes like this is killing wood so it's not exactly the most straightest cut in the world so anyway here we go Mark to cut off to allow for the uh, cross piece now, so let's go ahead and cut it off. Now for the cross piece. our two pieces with our dowel joint and I wouldn't say it exactly fits like a glove but you have to remember these are just two pieces of kindling but they slide together nicely and so I'll just sand this uh, end off and we'll be ready to glue it the dowel into this top end here the thing to do at this point is to put a mechanism to stop the dowel rod as you adjust the height so I put a drywall screw in and you can just adjust this with your fingers uh, after you screw it in and out the screwdriver it loosens up a bit so that'll be our stop okay I've got my pieces clamped and gluing using weld bond went ahead and put my dowel pin in my cross piece and also I made sort of a little platform for my uh, base here and I actually I took this piece and I put a screw in the bottom of it to hold it to the platform then took my bandsaw and cut a couple of smaller pieces with that uh, extension piece there on the back for support. So we'll wait till the glue dries and see how it looks. It's not going to look pretty, but you have to remember this is kindling wood and made to put in stoves to start your fire with, so not bad for cheap wood. We'll see how it turns out. Here's the finished product. I uh, added some uh, old pin blanks and an old scrap of two before into the back to give it a little bit more stability. And I even took my Dremel router tool and kind of fancied up the edges just a little bit just for something to do. And uh, basically this is it. Remember this is rough sawn kindling wood. There's no glitz or glamour to it. It's just made to be put in a stove and burn. So uh, not bad for repurposing. Again, this thing does what it's supposed to do. Here's my ornament suspended, and if we were to take a picture of it without the clutter in the background, that's the whole idea right there is to keep it off the ground and keep it suspended. And you can see, uh, again, there's my uh, set screw for the um, adjustment to uh, move the uh, 
piece the boom arm up and down if you desire and that fits real nicely so all in all not bad for free and i hope that uh, you've enjoyed it we'll see you next time remember to keep jesus christ in your shop and in your hearts